What's up YouTube? Got a new pickup I want to share with you guys today. Got a pair of these heavy fleece sweatpants from the Adidas and Fear of God collaboration and I got these in the sesame colorway. I thought I'd provide a bit of an in-depth review on these pants to help anyone who's interested in possibly copying these pants or any of the other pants from that collection. And given that they retail for $200, that is a pretty steep price when it comes to a garment like this. So hopefully this review is helpful, but we'll basically talk about sizing, fit, talk about a few pros and cons, and at the end I'll give my overall thoughts as to whether these pants are worth the $200 price point. So with that being said, let's get into it. So let's do a quick overview of these pants. As you can see, I got these pants in the sesame colorway, which is basically a very unique shade of a grayish neutral tone. And then along the sides of the legs, you have a very bright cream tone of the three stripes stitched in along the side of the leg. In terms of the waistband, you can see that it is a very thick and heavy duty waistband. And this waistband is also adjustable with these draw cords. The quality of these draw cords are very thick and durable. They are very rope-like in terms of thickness and texture. And then at the end of the draw cords, you have these nice rubber aglet tips. You got the hallmark black suede bar along the front of the pants. You got the two standard pockets along the sides here. And these pockets are a very decent size. But just for reference, there are no pockets on the rear. So just the two pockets on the sides only. Some additional branding and details is that you also have the Adidas logo that is uh, made of that suede material also on the left side of the thigh. And these pants are a very relaxed and baggy fit. So you can see the roominess along the, the thigh here. It does taper a little bit down to the ankle, but for the most part, it is a very baggy and relaxed fit down to the ankle. And then down at the bottom are these elastic band ankle cuffs. On the back of the pants, there's really nothing at all. It's just the uh, pure sesame color. It is worth mentioning that these pants are very heavy in hand. The website states that these pants are made of like a 465 gram cotton fleece material. But when I weighed these pants with my own scale, these pants weighed at uh, 660 or so grams, which is super heavy. I think that equates to like one and a half pounds. So hopefully that speaks volumes as to how heavy and thick these pants are. From a quality standpoint, these pants just feel very premium and very high quality. It's definitely something that you will really appreciate when you have them in hand. There just seems to be a lot of attention to detail when it comes to the construction of this garment. And it's hard to describe except the fact that it just has a very luxurious appeal to them. At least with my pair right here, it just looks pretty much perfect without any flaws, no loose seams or stitching or anything like that. The quality and the feel of the materials just feel very well constructed. All right, next let's talk about sizing and fit. For reference, I am 5'8 and about 155 pounds, and I got myself a size small. If you're curious about what size you should get, I would definitely refer to the size chart that they provided on the Adidas website. I would say for the most part it was pretty accurate because that's what I went off of. And I would say that size small worked out for me. But as you probably already know, these pants are a very loose, relaxed, and baggy fit. So I wanted to go into a little more detail as how these pants actually fit on body. So here are some additional detailed measurements in terms of the fit of this garment. At least this is for size small. So if you lay the pants out flat, the thickness of the thigh, basically from the crotch to the side of the leg, this part right here is 12 inches thick. And then as it tapers down to the lower part of the leg, the knee area measures at about 9 inches thick. And it still stays relatively baggy all the way down to the ankle, in which now the ankle cuff measures at about 4.75 inches thick. So on body, these pants do feel really nice. The inner fleece lining does feel very soft, but in terms of the fit and dimensions, uh, it just does not work quite well, at least with my body type. So waist-wise, it was just about perfect. My personal waist size is 31, 32. I got a size small, and I think small ranges from 29 to 32, so that worked out well. And I would say I did like the bagginess in the thigh, just felt very roomy and very comfortable. But as it tapers to the knee and down, that part just continues to stay quite baggy, at least again for my body proportions. Here's some B-roll footage, but you can see how there's still a lot of material and slack along the outside of the calf area. And granted, I do have a slim body frame and slim legs, but the, the bagginess around the calf area is just quite excessive. It just basically looks quite disproportionate and there's just a lot of excess material hanging out and just looks a little poofy. <laughs> 
In terms of how to wear these pants, given that these pants are a very relaxed and baggy fit, in my opinion, these pants would only look good and look best with chunky sneakers. So I do think these pants look pretty good with the Fear of God sneakers. Uh, I have the Athletic Low 86s that I think work well with these pants. And then I also have another pair of Adidas basketball sneakers. These are the Rivalry Lows, and I think these shoes also look decent with these pants. On the contrary, I think the more low profile and minimal sneakers just don't look good with these pants. Examples like Ultra Boosts or NMDs, the proportions are just way off when you wear more thin and minimal sneakers like those. So in my opinion, those shoes don't work quite as well as the chunkier sneakers. In terms of the length and the inseam of these pants, Again, the size chart was accurate, but when I put these on body, it just felt a little longer than I anticipated. So again, I am 5'8", but when I am wearing these pants size small, the inseam is 28 to 29 inches, but there is a lot of stacking action going on at the bottom of the pants. I am aware that I think they're going for that aesthetic in general, this capsule where, you know, Jerry Lorenzo is going for the very drapey and oversized fit but I still think that these pants would look best if you were a bit lengthier and taller. In my opinion, I would say if you're at least 5'10 or taller, then you'll pull these pants off a lot better. Again, me being 5'8", I'm a little bit short, so those two inches uh, makes the stacking at the bottom look a little disproportionate. So with all that being said, let's talk about a few pros and cons. Pro number one is that I'm a big fan of this colorway. I really like how he integrated the sesame and the bright creams together. It's a very eye appealing neutral palette that I think can go with almost if not everything. Pro number two is that the quality and the construction of this garment is top notch. You really do feel like you're having a luxurious experience when you have these in hand. And pro number three is that given the thickness, the heaviness, and the softness of the fleece inside these pants, these pants are guaranteed to keep you warm. These would be the perfect pants to lounge around in, especially in the fall and winter. So that actually transitions me to one con of these pants. Uh, given the thickness and heaviness of these pants, these pants are quite situational. You definitely will warm up in these pants and you do not want to wear these pants on a hot day or if you're running a whole bunch of errands being very active, you'll just heat up and burn up in these pants. So kind of situational in terms of when you can wear these. And con number two, you might have gotten this impression already if you watched the first part of this video, but the fit just does not feel very good, at least on my body type. I feel like this baggy, oversized, drapey aesthetic is a very niche fashion trend that only select people can pull off. And unfortunately for you short and slim kings out there, these pants in my opinion just aren't quite suited for us. The baggy and drapey aesthetic just does not sit quite well to my proportions anyway. If somehow Fear of God and Adidas made a slim down and a shortened version of these pants, I would be all over these pants, no question, and it would be an absolute perfect pair of pants. So the main question is, for a retail price of $200, are these sweatpants worth it? I would say that it is a very niche purchase, to say the least. From a quality control standpoint, these are very solid. But from a fashion standpoint, uh, you gotta be a certain personality and a very certain body type to really be able to pull these off well. I would definitely consider these a statement piece. So these are, although they're neutral, they're also very loud. Uh, the aesthetic is very out there. And again, it takes a certain personality and a certain body type to really pull these off well. So if you're gonna invest that $200, you better rock these with confidence. So I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. What are your thoughts on these pants? Would you ever drop $200 for any pair of sweatpants, let alone any pants in general? And what are your thoughts overall on the Adidas and Fear of God collaboration? I'd love to hear your thoughts, so sign off in the comments below. And if you made this fun video, please do me a huge favor, hit that like button, it'll help me out a lot and consider subscribing for more content on style, sneakers, and science. While you're at it, check out my other videos here or here. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.